I allowed to say about the story? Uh, it's about a boy. <laughs> and um, his time in 1959, Hawkins. Um, that's about all I'm really allowed to say, kind of, isn't it? I would say that this is the story of a young boy named Henry Creel who moves to a new town with his family after something bad has happened. And they're looking for a fresh start and a new chapter in their lives and as you may imagine, it doesn't go to plan and things are turned fully upside down. Ha ha ha. I feel like this play is going to speak to those kind of hardcore fans. It was written by Kate Tree Fry, who was kind of one of the core writers on the series. She joined in season two, I think, and has been kind of a big, big integral part of the development of the series. Uh, the Duffer Brothers as well kind of contributed a lot to the story and what happens. Also, Stephen, the director, he himself is a super fan. Mm. He loves Stranger Things and that's why he wanted to put this on in the first place. Uh, he kind of told us that he, he'd watched it and then he went to the Duffers and said, I want to do a play and he kind of pitched them this idea. So it's kind of, it's made by people who either worked on Stranger Things or who love it themselves. I've been writing on the show for a while and I approach this the same way that I approach every episode, um, you know, which is just to tell a story about coming of age, you know, that's what we're always trying to do. Those are the themes that we're always exploring and um, I had a blast doing, you know, what ultimately results in a tragedy uh, and having so much fun along the way. So, yeah, I mean, I think I think it feels like this show. I mean, I don't know how to write anything else at this point, so it should probably feel like this show. Well, I, I would just say it's, I mean, it's been very different from any theatrical uh, process that we've been through. and. You know, I work on a lot of new writing and um, been in that kind of type of room a lot. And this has been sort of like being on a crazy film set yeah. in the theater. Um, so it's it's been very, very different. Like you're getting pink pages, blue pages. I mean, we're not getting colored pages, but it feels like yeah. that, you and know? I think, I think also it's, it's, it's interesting because you've got, you've got Netflix involved. And that's, that's what's new about this, is that, you know, this is a play that's kind of running alongside a TV show that's still on its journey. And that's never been done before. So the, so the, the Hollywood execs will come in and say, that doesn't work and that doesn't work because they're trying to correlate to what they're doing in season or, five. Or, or, yeah, or they just don't want to reveal that because they might be revealing it in the next season. Yeah, so certain characters might be giving information to another character and they say well actually we don't want that character to do that we want because that's too much we want that character to do it so it's kind of out of our control and certainly out of the actor's control um, <laughs> and it's been you know and I think it's a new frontier for for theatre you know with with I mean we've got Disney who are doing brilliant stuff in the West End and on Broadway and 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 other film companies coming in Universal I think came and DreamWorks and stuff but this is Netflix this is kind of on a different level and I'm interested to see what this yeah. this will seed. I mean it's been definitely a challenge at times like having to do a few new scenes in front of an audience you know when you got it very recently but seriously this team is is really supportive and everyone is so talented that you're able to, to pick each other up if you fall down and Justin and Audrey they ran lines with me one morning uh, with all my new scenes just to make sure I was comfortable enough to go on so it was just it's a really great team to work with. My expectations coming into, you know, a Sonia Friedman and Netflix co-production, um, I, I imagine quite big things, but I, I don't think I was very prepared at all. I don't think any of us were really prepared at all for how big some of it is. Like, it is just the scope of it, the reach of it is completely wild. Um, so, yeah, more very blown away by it all, to be honest. It was, it was really, really important to us that the show felt within the world of the, the series that you know and love in terms of the, the tone of it, in terms of uh, the fact that there are jump scares, that there are monsters, that there are uh, illusions. The, the, the amazing thing obviously on stage is on screen you're protected by your screen. In the theatre it's happening live in front of you and so it's sort of this, um, it feels like it's part of the canon and it is such an origin story to so much of it 
but at the same time it feels like something unique and fresh and interesting and you know watching an audience jump scare in the theatre or be awed by an effect because it's happening live in front of them is just exhilarating. People should just go into it with no kind of expectations because the ceiling is just shattered with this in terms of like what they've been able to achieve on stage live. There's things that I would read in the script and I would think there's no way that they're going to be able to do that in a live setting on stage with a full audience in the time that this is allowing. and. They've done that and more. I mean, if you're a Stranger Things fan, uh, the first shadow is such a homecoming, um, you know, because we're all waiting on season five. And as this is a prequel, you know, you might be wondering, like, what's this got to do with the story? But we're going back in time and we're seeing the origin stories of these characters you love, like Henry Creel and the young versions of Joyce, Bob and Hopper and how they all mix. And yeah, I just think for the fans, it is it's special because it's right in front of you and I, I, this thought, and I keep saying it, but it's so true. The upside down is right in front of you. If uh, if you wouldn't get tackled if you were to go on stage, but you'd step right into the upside down. Stars shining bright above you. It's not the <laughs> That excites me. Yeah. That's great. That thrills and delights me. Oh no.